It's the beginning of a new decade, and while most people prefer to look ahead with optimism, we at Red Eye prefer to look back in anger, which is why tonight we're going to spend a few minutes discussing the very worst albums of the last 10 years, and who else should we ask to discuss this in this worthy endeavor but the angriest but smartest man in rock criticism. Let's welcome back to the show music journalist Mark Prindle. He runs MarkPrindle.com. He hates everything, including himself. So, Mark, good to see you. Happy New Year. Good now, to take, be here. Nate, take me through your list, starting with the 10th worst album of the last decade. Okay, number 10 is Metallica, Saint Anger. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Metallica, we all do, but this record was the one that they wrote and recorded with their group Psychiatrist, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually a pretty good ploy when you think about it, mm -hmm. because you put in the CD, you contract a severe depression, you need a psychiatrist, boom, he's right there. Wow. Could yep. kick, yeah. Number nine. Uh, number nine, David Lee Roth, Diamond Dave. Again, I love David Lee Roth, but this is a covers album that just stinks to high heaven. Uh, basically, put it this way, if you thought Van Halen 3 was bad, uh, you're correct, it was. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah. Number uh, number eight, uh, give me your eight. Uh, no surprise here, Guns N' Roses, Chinese Democracy. When I woke up when this album came out and saw that all the top music magazines were giving it positive reviews, I knew I died and gone to hell. How could it, it took him 15 years to write these songs? I shudder to think what we're in for in 2042 when his next album comes out. <laughs> it's true. Well, number seven. Weezer, Ratitude. When I posted on Facebook that I was going to come on here to talk about the 10 worst albums of the decade, one of my friends responded, how many Weezer albums will be on the list? And that says it all. These guys started average and got worse and worse. They stink. It's number six. Lincoln Park, Minutes to Midnight. As you know, Lincoln Park fans have the amazing ability to enjoy some of the worst music ever created, and even they can't stand this album. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> Smashing Pumpkins, Zeitgeist. This band reunited. I thought they stunk the first time. And now what, Billy Corgan, who's he dating now? Jessica Simpson. How did, I mean, jeez, I'm bald and talentless. Do I get a bimbo, too? <laughs> What's number four? Uh, Eminem, Encore, one of the most childish records I've ever heard, full of fart noises, burping. Look, I've said this before. Children need to realize that our hip-hop artists look up to them as role models. And with that responsibility comes a big... I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, he's no Asher Roth. Number three. Uh, Pink, I'm Not Dead. Uh, guess I'll have to work on my aim. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not really going to shoot, right? <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Number two. Uh, Joni Mitchell, Shine. Uh, she paved paradise and put out a piece of crap. <laughs> uh, actually, she hasn't put out a good al al album since the mid-70s, but the reason I put this in here is because she announced her retirement in 2000, and then in 2007 came out of retirement to record this album for Starbucks. Wow. Hey, keep that hippie dream alive, Joni. Wait, what's your worst album of the decade, number one? Madonna, American Life. This was her al first album after 9-11, and she was so affected by the tragedy that she wrote a huge, long album about how hard it is to be a celebrity. <laughs> hey, Greg, Greg, have you heard Bruce Spring Springsteen's The Rising? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's fine if you like lighthearted piffle, but did you know Madonna can't eat carbs? I know. It is a tragedy. It's, oh, it's harrowing is the mm -hmm. word. Never forget. All right, I want to do my, uh, wait, what's your best, what's your best album of the decade? I could have gone with Fugazi, Radiohead, Killing Joke, a lot of things. I went with an underdog, Ween Quebec. Ah, very good. Great band from New Hope, Pennsylvania. Yes. Brothers, I believe. All right, you, you got to get that album. It's oh, fantastic. No, but, All right. They're not really brothers. But, oh, okay. yeah, you know what? I'm getting them confused with Sparks. Silly me. Uh, All right, I'd like to share my worst 10 albums of the last decade. Number 10, Behind the Front by Black Eyed Peas. Number 9, Bridging the Gap by the Black Eyed Peas. Number eight, Ella Funk by the Black Eyed Peas, spelled incorrectly. Number, where am I, eight? Monkey, no, where am I? Seven. Seven, Monkey Business by the Black Eyed Peas. Number seven? Six. Six, six. The End by the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> and this is where it gets really good. At number five, I have again, Behind the Front by the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> what? Yeah, and then at number four, Bridging the Gap by the Black Eyed Peas. Really? And then number three, I also have Ella Funk by the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, I got that yeah. <laughs> number two, Monkey Business by the Black Eyed Peas. And the worst num uh, album of all time, The End by the Black Eyed Peas. Ah. Mark, what did you think of my list? Where was Chris Cornell? I, you hate I hate Chris Cornell, but I actually hate the Black Eyed Peas more. Now, my number one album of the decade is uh, uh, the director's cut by Phantomas, which is the super, ba super uh, metal band with uh, Dave Lombardo 
and uh, Buzzo from the Melvins, uh, Lombardo from Slayer, and Mike Patton from Faith No More and Mr. Bungle. The be I think the best metal album of uh, the last 10 years. I sincerely believe that. And you should check it out. It's all movie themes. Really interesting. Any uh, final words, Mark, before we go? Uh, just that I, I, the, my only problem with that Fine Thomas album is that I didn't know any of the movie themes. Uh, I just don't know any of the songs. Well, you know what? That's your fault. Don't blame them, Mark. Blame I yourself. Why are they so stupid? They put out this album with songs I don't know. I give it a zero. All right. Mark, uh, talk to you soon. Go to markprindle.com. It's a great website, great reviews. Coming up next, your voicemail messages. And don't forget to visit my blog, dailygut.com.